Okay, let me put it to you like this. I'm a little overtired, so I'm probably going to be talking a load of rubbish. But anyway, let me just sort of... It's been holiday, I've come back, I'm now not supposed to be on holiday. Well, I could still be on holiday. If I'm not working, I'm on holiday. Okay, so I am still on holiday, but I'm not actually on, on holiday. I'm here. I was there, I'm now here. Where was there? There was a place called Etable, okay, in France. Mm. France. Wonderful place, France. Uh, it is. Brilliant. It's a little like Britain, but like stretched out, you know. I mean, there's like the same kind of woodlands, same kind of like greenery, fields, trees, farms, all that kind of good stuff. Loved it. Mm. But it was like <laughs> larger areas of it, you know. And because everything's like culturally homogenous here, you know, you can go to the same shops over there as you can over here. So it's all like more or less the same sort of thing, apart from, of course, the history and the culture and the language and a few other minor, like, niggly little issues. Eight more marinades to the point whereby I could bloody well explode. Brilliant fun. Right, anyway. It's grown. See? Yes. This is spoilers of my holiday. It's a Union flag, right? Of Great Britain. So that covers... Scotland and England, also Wales and Cornwall, just about. Wales and Cornwall, or the Welsh and the Cornish, might disagree occasionally. The Scottish would perpetually disagree, but that's fine. Okay, different political opinions and all the rest of that, not a problem. Now, this wonderful specimen I got in France at a much better price than I could here in Great Britain. This incredibly patriotic flag I bought from an African gentleman wearing a Rastafarian hat who spoke fluent German in a French market. There's some kind of sense in that and I don't quite know what. Now, just for those of you who don't know, hmm. This one is England. Now that doesn't cover Wales, doesn't cover Scotland. The Cornish people would disagree, but essentially at the moment it still covers Cornwall, but the Cornish still want to have their like, you know, independence movement. They've got about three people sitting at the back of a pub somewhere, you know, we are the Cornish Liberation Army sort of thing. You know, that's more or less all they've got basically. Hmm. This one does not cover Northern Ireland. Hmm? Doesn't, no. And it certainly doesn't cover Southern Ireland, it's only England. This one covers a little more. That will cover the Falkland Islands. That will cover Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, and of course England. But you've got to get it right, because sometimes, you know, you might have a disagreement with some of the people who identify with either this one, or that one. But either either way, I've got both of them. Gonna be a nice little bit of backdrop for when I'm doing videos here on YouTube, alright? Do you think I've caught a sun? You know? Normally that's the way it is, you know, just like go out fry. You know, whoops, you know what don't know if I told you this already. It was hot. Well it wasn't actually all that hot, but you know, with me, I spend my time indoors. Right, that's what I do. I spend my time indoors. So normally, if there's a touch of sunshine, a couple of rays of sun coming through the cloud, basically I kind of like, <sighs> But I think this time I handled it. Beach and everything. It was cool.